Okay, here we go. The probably with North Korea. Dear Ronald McDonald balls. <laughs> North Korea is a serious threat to East Asia and now too good a portion of the world. I understand that. So what? So are we. So are we. You know, if you're going to play this game, you know what I mean? Like, like everybody that said the Patriots cheated. If you're going to play that game, then you got to see the cheating that you're doing. Correct? Am I nuts here? Am I crazy? Yes, the missile test the other day was a ballistic missile, but they can put a nuclear weapon on it as well. Okay, and so can we. We already, we already have ours ready to go. Their latest test puts most of the U.S., all of Europe, and a good portion of Africa within range of their weapons. Yes, and all of those places are in range of our weapons and Russia's weapons. So, you know, I mean, look, I'm not saying it's great that this guy has this fucking thing, but just imagine if he had what we had. What the fuck would we be doing? Wouldn't we be doing the same fucking thing? Well, we got to get some stuff. He, he's, he's making that shit because we got our shit. Right? It's like when the Yankees started spending $200 million fucking dollars, the Red Sox had to spend one ninety. dollars That's what happens. That's what happens. Um, and if they are actually able to successfully launch from a submarine as they are attempting to do this, this not only increases the range, but can potentially dramatically increase the amount of time we have to respond if they were to launch a missile. Well, what would happen, sir? Listen, everybody knows there's no end game to this shit. Okay? It's going gonna, it's gonna to be over. We would have time to respond. Don't you remember, uh, what the fuck was it, War Games? I can't believe how seriously people are fucking taking this shit. Like, I don't think this guy's out of his fucking mind in North Korea. All right? I'm just so fucking sick of, of, of having to turn on the TV and have somebody has to try this. Like, news now is... Just scare the shit out of somebody and offer no fucking solutions. And then normal people just sit there screaming at each other. To, to the point that this fucking dope is taking the time to turn my podcast, which is supposed to be a break from all of that shit, which is why I just say silly shit about it, you're turning this into meet the press. If that fucking asshole shoots one off, point it right at my house, because I don't want to survive it. I don't give a fuck. All right? We have no one to blame but ourselves. We're fucking defective. If human beings were cars, we would all be recalled. All right? We do not handle position of power well, and this is what the fuck happens. All right? We're fearful fucking lunatics who, for some stupid reason, were given the ability to fucking intimidate nerds so they would build all this shit for us. And now here we are. Here we are. All right? All right, North Korea also has the highest percentage of slaves in the world. Fully, it, like you care, sir. Like you give a shit. Fully 4.4% of its population is enslaved. That is approximately 1.1 million. Sir, I am on an Apple fucking computer right now, and I'm sure you typed yours on an Apple computer too. Those people are jumping out of the factory. They're, they're fucking slaves. All the shit that I'm wearing was made in sweatshops. Like, what are we doing now? Now we're going to fudge the fucking numbers so these people look like they're out of their minds, but everybody else is fucking okay? This is like, com countries are like community colleges where they will figure out what they're number one in so they can fucking put it in their pamphlet. Um, okay, let's read some more fucking depressing information. This is why I don't watch the news. Uh, today, da, 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 and that doesn't even mention the network of concentration cramps across the nation and the people getting less than subs less than subsistent levels of daily calories. Well, I mean, they're, they're also not allowed to trade with anybody, are they? You know, they really can't get their shit going, right? I mean, part of that is us trying to force them into giving in to getting forever 21s in Starbucks there. Isn't that right? I mean, I might be wrong, sir. I, I fucking watch sports. I watch sports. I listen to music. Okay? I block all this shit out. So I, I'm sure I mispronounced some words here. To put that into perspective, about 388,000 slaves were shipped to North America from 1525 to 1866. It's obviously a huge issue. 
Well, how, how do you how do you put that in perspective without telling me what the population of Korea is? And also, three hundred eighty-eight thousand people back in bet- between fifteen twenty-five and eighteen sixty-six was a way more significant portion of the population than it is today. Correct. So I don't know what you're saying there, sir. But I do know that whenever we have an issue with the country, all of a sudden we pretend to care about its people. Um, Unfortunately, there isn't any easy solution to the problem. Even if China withdraws their support and the regime, regime collapses, you're still looking at a potential civil war in a nation with nuclear weapons. Let's just hope people smarter than you or I can find a different solution to the problem. They won't. There's only one solution. Got to go in there and get them. Uh, keep up the good work. I love hearing you talk about aus- how awesome it is to be a parent instead of constant talk about how hard it is. As a dad of two boys, there are obviously days when I feel like ripping out what little hair I have left, but the vast vast majority of the time is just awesome. Uh, look at this. He was actually just informing me, and I got all fucking defensive because all this week people said that I said nuclear instead of nuclear. Um, yes, sir. I realize he's out of his fucking mind. I realize that person's out of his fucking mind. The guy before him, his dad was out of his fucking mind, okay? Trump is out of his fucking mind. I'm out of my fucking mind, okay? Nobody should have weapons other than your fucking fists and whatever you can grab in the kitchen. That's ideally, that's what, that would be better, all right? I think, I don't understand why war is legal, but it is, so... This is the game that we play with each other, and it is fucking inevitable that one day somebody is going to go Martin Sheen dead zone. And what are you going to do? You know? See, people, this is why I have all four sports packages. (laughs) Because I don't want to know about this shit. I don't want to fucking sit here and watch the news and have them scare the living shit out of me that now this is going to happen. You know, and some fly's going to bite me, and then I'm going to have a baby with a little head. Somebody else is going to fucking blow me up. Yeah, just, I, I just, yeah, I, I, I don't want to talk about this, okay? I'm trying to keep it light on the podcast here. Let's just make, let's just laugh at me not being able to pronounce words. Don't bring actual facts into this podcast. All right. 